Welcome everyone. This is Dr. Bartolom Meshko, the medical futurist. I checked this year, I analyzed over 1,000 news, uh, breakthroughs, press releases on the medical futurist social media channels. And at the end of every year, I choose the 10 most exciting, most important ones. So here are the top 10 digital health stories of 2022. Number one, digital therapeutics on the rise. This year has seen the largest number of studies showing that digital therapeutics can indeed become a part of everyday medical care. Now we have clinical proof that certain digital therapeutics should be able to be prescribed for patients. Digital therapeutics are about the idea that not just medications and treatments, but even the use of smartphone apps, digital health sensors, wearables, any kind of digital mean can be a treatment in themselves if evidence-based enough. 2022 was the year of digital therapeutics, so expect them, these technologies, to become part of the delivery of care from 2023 to. Number two, tech giants getting into primary care. Even the parent company of TikTok, ByteDance, coughed up $1.5 billion to buy one of the largest uh, private health hospital chain in China. CVS announced that they would like to launch primary care services, which is simply extraordinary, like BMW doing the same, launching a primary care service. What? Amazon launched the Amazon Virtual Clinic. All these tech giants are diving into healthcare, but this was the year in 2022 when they finally could materialize what kind of healthcare service did they want to offer, and they launched these services. Number three, virtual wards becoming a thing. I had a one minute challenge on this channel describing what virtual wards are, but this was the year when we started to finally see pilot studies being run in multiple countries, but especially in the United Kingdom. Virtual wards are places or technological means through which healthcare professionals can monitor patients from afar while those patients are at home. Of course, it takes place through remote care services, but for the patients, it feels like being cared for while staying at the hospital even though they are at home. I think it's a wonderful technological concept that makes sure that we can finally shift the point of care from physical buildings to wherever patients are. Number four, a pharma company going all in in digital health. Roche just started putting all their digital health solutions under one brand portfolio called Nevify. It might not sound as sexy as I think it does, but it's a huge thing. For a decade, I've been saying that pharma companies must dedicate their efforts to digital health, and at least one pharma company was brave enough to do that. When this company, Roche, acquired the diabetes startup MySugar a few years ago, it was a good sign that they want to offer something new on the market, a medication, with a digital health app or technology. And now they will do this 30, 50 plus times throughout the global market by using digital health technologies. Excellent step forward. Number five, the WHO launching a freely accessible AI-based healthcare worker. She's called Florence 2.0, and it's an artificial intelligence powered chatbot service. I, I tried to have a discussion with the chatbot about some health issues. It was definitely better than reading stuff on a health website. Of course, it's still not the same as having a discussion with a healthcare professional remotely. But understanding that 10 million healthcare workers will be missing from healthcare by 2030, based on the World Health Organization's estimation, it will be inevitable to have these chatbots or AI-based, uh, interaction-based tools in the primary line of service. So get accustomed to talking to chatbots in the near future. Number six, vocal biomarkers are in the house. That was not the year when we first heard about vocal biomarkers. I've been covering this exciting field of digital health for years, but 2022 was the year when I personally shared the largest amount of breakthroughs, press releases, and news reports about vocal biomarkers. A lot of examples came through the, the walls of attention in this field. Uh, vocal biomarkers being used to analyze phone records to detect the risk for Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease, the same recordings can be used to detect uh, risk for cancer. You can cough into a smartphone app and it tells you your risk of being diagnosed with COVID 
All these examples have come through and it's very important that vocal biomarkers become part of everyday care because vocal biomarkers represent one of the easiest solutions for AI to penetrate the walls of patient care. So expect to see even more examples in 2023. Number seven, a breast cancer home device won the James Dyson Award. It's very important for women to be tested and screened for breast cancer, but how can you do this at home? There's a new device called Dotlot that can do that. It uses sound waves to record a tissue composition once a month, and it records all these details and then send it to a, to a professional to be analyzed from afar. I think it's an excellent example of how the delivery of healthcare can shift again from the traditional point of care towards wherever patients are, usually at their homes, especially doing that in such an important medical condition. Number eight, a drone delivering a defibrillator to save a patient's life. This story took place in Sweden this year. A 71-year-old patient was shoveling snow in his garden and he had a cardiac arrest. Fortunately, a doctor was nearby and he could start doing resuscitation with the help of a defibrillator that they received through an app with a medical drone. This is exactly the vision that we at The Medical Futurist have been talking about for many years, that this is the delivery of service that drones could bring to the table. And in 2022, a lot of pilot studies started uh, running about uh, seeing how these medical drones can deliver semi-automatic defibrillators to places of cardiac arrest. Many of these potential cases when people's lives could have been saved were identified. So I expect drones to be regulated in many European countries first to be able to deliver these defibrillators to emergency situations. Number nine, smart TVs becoming remote care platforms. LG, Samsung, major smart TV brands have started creating partnerships with healthcare institutions about using their smart TVs, which are in those patient rooms and at patients' homes already, to use them as a platform for remote care service. Many of these smart TVs can share video and audio recordings. So when the patient is at home, they can have a remote consultation through video chat on their TV with a physician from afar. And also there, there have been examples about how these smart TVs could be used in hospital patient rooms to deliver guidance and insights for those patients by just being sent out by one healthcare professional sitting in a hub, taking care of all these patients simultaneously. So if you don't have uh, privacy issues about your TVs being used for that, expect smart TVs to become remote care platforms. And number 10, the metaverse hype or the metaverse hype. I couldn't leave this story out. Even though I personally think the metaverse is so far away from the practical reality, the vision that Mark Zuckerberg has, but the hype is there about how these virtual reality devices connected into one huge social network called the metaverse could contribute to patient care and delivery of healthcare services. The metaverse hasn't taken shape yet, but there are great studies showing how virtual reality devices alone can help ease pain for patients or make them feel better while staying in the hospital for longer times, not even talking about how these VR devices and VR therapies can help people with mental health conditions. But the metaverse, maybe in 2023. So we had quite a busy year in digital health in 2022. We at The Medical Futurist will keep on covering all the important news, announcements, breakthroughs, studies, everything for you to provide the context about what kind of future we are heading into. And that's why, heading into the future, you can also expect our video about the top medical technologies innovations to expect in 2023. So have an excellent year. If you like this video, please subscribe below. So you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.